Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Nothing Edited. What I'm going to be doing is preparing my broth that I want for tomorrow. I will be cooking these dill peas with snaps. However, I want to prepare the broth tonight. And I'm not going to be cooking the whole bag, probably just half. So I'm going to add four cups of water to that. To that, remember my smoked ham from Easter. I'll be adding two healthy pieces of that. And to that, I will also be adding two ribs of celery and one very large onion. Now, I'm just going to let that cook all night long. I'm going to put it on low. I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm going to let it cook. <coughs> Excuse me. Meanwhile, with these field peas, they're frozen. And you know when you put something really cold into a crock pot, it totally changes the temp of the water. So I will be taking half of these, uh, half of these field peas here. I'm gonna put them into a measuring cup and let them thaw out overnight in the refrigerator. And before I add them to my crock pot, I'm going to run some um, hot water over the the field peas just to get them to basically. Uh, room temp and put them into this crock pot and let them cook. I will add pepper, garlic, and salt to it tomorrow, but only, well, I'll add the garlic when I add the field peas and then, and the black pepper. Now, I will not be adding no salt until after my field peas are cooked, and I'll bring y'all back and show y'all that, but I want to show y'all this is how I like to do it because I want that ham to be just cooked to nothing. I want that flavor already into that pot, and so it'll also make the cooking time. I think on the field peas probably take about two hours on high. Uh, because this is on low right now, but I'll crank it to high. Once it's on high and I put the field peas in it, it, it should uh, hop skippity cook in about two, two and a half hours. I'll bring y'all back in the morning uh, when I add everything to it. Hey y'all. Uh, I um, didn't video the part where I actually put the snaps in, the, bean, the peas and the beans in this morning because these are the uh, peas, field peas and uh, snap beans. I put those in. They've been on for about, oh, about 30 minutes. So they'll take about another hour or so. You can see those, let me see, those peas are still hard. Oh yeah, mm -mm. nowhere's near done. Uh, so I'm not going to be, I'll add a little pepper. Well, as a matter of fact, does have a good taste though, even without the garlic, which is going in now. And I will be adding, even though the peas are still hard and you normally don't add salt, I'm going to be adding salt now, just a pinch of salt, two pinches, and a tad bit of black pepper. I'll stir that and Basically, that's all there is to this. All I have to do is wait for the uh, peas to soften up and be ready to eat. Uh, I'll bring y'all back when they're, they're ready to serve. I may also, I don't know that I'm going to do it, but I may also just go on ahead and add like a quarter of a cup of rice to this. So it's just everything a one pot meal so I don't have to be messing up other pots because I'm going to have rice with this one way or the other so uh, I'll bring y'all back at that point okay y'all I'm back again now these have been cooking the peas have been cooking here for two hours so what I'm going to be adding <clears throat> is approximately three quarters of a cup of parboiled rice. The reason I'm using parboiled is if we have leftovers, I can freeze those. Now, I already know that by adding rice to it, I have to add more salt because rice needs salt. So I'm gonna add two more pinches of salt. Roughly a teaspoon and a half, something like that, right? 
I'm going to stir that. That's the last time I'm going to be stirring that mixture for right now. The other thing I'm going to be adding, if you don't like it, don't add it, but we like it, is okra. Whole pods of okra. This should easily cook within 30 to 35 minutes. Just depending. So anyway, I will bring y'all back when it has finished cooking and tell you the total cook time with adding the rice. Because it's already the peas have already cooked for two hours. I've just added the rice. We'll see how that goes. To be continued. Okay, y'all. It's been 45 minutes. Now that the okra's done. Y'all see the portion of the rice and the beans and the meat looks pretty good to me give it a real good stir here don't want my okra cut up but see that's about what it would be like if you was going to serve it up put your beans rice together you're going to have that gravy like you want that's the way it that's the way it's done so total cook time after adding the peas and snap beans everything the that was two hours and 45 minutes and it's time to eat y'all thanks for watching please like subscribe and by all means leave a comment y'all have a great day